Yesterday morning I had some things to attend to, but I did call you, I thought, in a reasonable time. You did. And at that time you said uh, that you'd give me a little bit of leeway for a couple of days until I could get my ducks lined up, or whatever term you prefer to use. And that's true. So what I was doing was making arrangements to get my ducks lined up. Okay. And now you've got me up here. Okay. So here I am. Now, okay, okay, we've been through this road already. Okay. Everybody is different. Right. Uh, law enforcement people are human beings like everybody else. Like every other individual. Now, I haven't talked any more about Ensoon's problems or my problems, because frankly, you're not my priest, no. and you're not my doctor, and both stories have their place. You know, gossip has its place in society sometimes, but I'm just not going to say any more about Ensoon or myself right now. Well, because, with the understanding I of mean, the frankly, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to cut you off. Hmm? I'm not going to cut you off. And I've always tried to live by the model that there's no defense against the truth. But sometimes it's hard to find out what the truth is. you got one side, the other side, and something down the middle that people might perceive to be the truth. Now, when that southern fire was roaring last month, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you've ever lived in a rural area before, but most people are signed up for the firefighting crew. And when you get a journeyman carpenter that's only making maybe eight or nine dollars an hour up there, and I'm talking about a professional journeyman, somebody that knows what he's doing and works good. And I guess you could compare that to a carpenter in this area that's uh, out of the union. I think the scale is about thirty-eight dollars an hour in the Bay Area right now. When these guys get a chance to go to work for the Forest Service for twenty-eight fifty an hour, pay twenty-four hours a day plus their meals, you know it's dangerous. They're going to go. They will. Mm -hmm. And it used to be driving through places like that. If you had a pair of shoes and you were close to fire, you'd get, uh, what would you call it? You'd get uh, uh, volunteered. Park your car, mister. You're going to be a firefighter. All right, Larry, uh, your prince came back. Our, you know your other name, right? Curtis or Gerald or Jerry or whatever the name you're going by this week. Curtis Kimball. Curtis Kimball. Our Gerald uh, Mock, uh, what's his name? Mockerman? Mockerman, right. Ring a bell? No. no. Yeah, that's who you are, man. Why not? Do you need another Coke? No. You all right? Do you need, you need a candy bar or some chips or something? No, I'll be honest with you. I, I got to eat small meals about four times a day, five times a day. You need something? You sure? I'm fine. I got a snack. I've run down to the candy machine. No, uh, it's All right, let me, I'm just going to check around again. I'll be right back. It's fine. Maybe she hurt herself, and, and you're concerned about that getting out, that she's harmed herself. No, there's no truth. If you're if you're, uh, if you're thinking, is she suicidal? Yeah, no, she's not. She's not. Uh, but she's not as aggressive as she used to be. Mm -hmm. Now, what else can I say? I don't chase younger women. It's just something that happened. Mm -hmm. What can I say? Mm -hmm. 